Jesus is the answer for the world today. Hello family, Pastor Laudu from Christian Pentecostal Church here and today there's an excitement in my heart. Um and I just want to, I guess, share it with you all. Um, the title today is, It's All About Jesus. It's all about Jesus. And, um, you know, there's a, there's no other way to put it. You know, I actually woke up and I was just like, it's all about Jesus. <laughs> I, like, it's been bubbling within my spirit for the past week. And, uh, you know, even what we shared last week, as in like a, our focus, refocusing our lenses and realizing that anything and everything we do has to be about Jesus and about the gospel because, you know, and the, the, and the truth, I guess, the, the, the scripture that we use to bind that all together, in this case anyway, I mean, you can find it anywhere in the Bible, Old Testament and New. But today, for today, the scripture we want to use to talk about it being all about Jesus is not found in Acts chapter 17 verse 28 Acts 17 28 and it says for in him we live and move and have our being as certain also of your own poets have said for we are also his offspring in him we live we move and we have our being you know when I think about a verse of scripture like that it's so it's poignant it tells it's only in him it's only because of and in with Within Christ, as Christians, that we live, you know, and we can talk about being dead to ourselves, and that we, you know, in this newness of life, and then we move and we have our being, our very essence, our very source, our everything resides within Him, which means that we can do nothing of ourselves, as Christ says. It says, "Without me, you can do any, you can't do anything," you know. And so, when we think about our lives, you know, when we think about our mornings, when we think about our day, we think about what it is we have to do. Excuse me. It cannot be apart from Jesus. It cannot be a part of his plan because we dwell within him. It's like trying to do something. I, I don't know how to describe it. It's like you're, you're stuck within something and you're trying to do something outside of it. It's like, it's like trying to walk in the ocean. Like imagine if you're with, if you're, in a pool, let's say one with a pool, for example. You're in a pool, and it's not like you're at the bottom. You're in the deep end of the pool, so you can't just get to the bottom and walk. You're at the deep end of the pool, and you all you can do there to move, to do anything, is to swim. But we try to walk in a pool. It's the same concept that we, in Christ, in trying to do anything outside of Christ, but us being in Christ, we are trying to do something that doesn't fit within where we are. It doesn't fit in the environment that we have found ourselves in. So we, in Him we live. Our very essence, our very breath, our very everything, everything we do in this life resides within Him. In Him we move. Let's not do anything. Let's not take one step. You know, it's that, that you know, it's the, with our everything, there's a song that says, with every breath, there are lots of songs that go, with every breath we will live to praise you. We will sing to praise you. You know, and we have our being, our source of existence is within him. So that is the joy and the confidence I have today. I want to share with you all that in Christ is everything. Christ is all and in all. We dwell within that, enclosed in the safety of his arms, enclosed in the safety of his being. And that is how we march forward. Pressing onward towards that goal that Jesus is Lord. And let the whole world know that Jesus is Lord, both in our thoughts, in our words, in our actions. God bless you richly. And let us remember that in him we live, in him we move, and in him we have our being because it is all about Jesus. God bless you.